Okay, so this is the Senior Accountant's Guide to Tax and Accounts. My name is Louise Harrington, part of Performance Accountancy. And what we're going to do today is how to change your business address with the VAT man. So I'm going to hope this is going to work because this is an experiment. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to, oops, a daisy. Um, there you go. We are going to log in to your HMRC tax account. So this will be your business account. So here's the access point and you'll be met with the government gateway ID. So if you log on to your ID, it will either be a series of letters and numbers or a series of 12 numbers. So log into that. And my one personally takes me to the personal tax account, but that's okay because I can access the business tax account here. And I will then get to the screen that looks like this at the top. So that'll be my business tax summary. If I scroll down slightly, I will get to the section that says VAT. And what I want to do is I want to click on manage your VAT account. Now, I have to say, I am a set up with making tax digital for VAT. So this is what it should look like if you have MTD set up. If you don't have MTD set up, this may look slightly different, but cross that bridge when we get to it. Eventually all businesses will have to go to MTD for VAT. So we might as well go for it now. Okay, so this is my control for my VAT account. It will tell me when my next due date is. Thank goodness I've got no VAT payments to make. And I can go into here and look at any of my past returns, etc. Some people or some businesses want proof that you're a resident in the UK. You can potentially use your VAT certificate because that will have your address and that's an official document from HMRC. But what we're going to do at the moment, we are going to go to my business details. So click on to your business details and this will tell you exactly um, the name of the, the business that is VAT registered, the place of business and the website address, etc. But what I want to do is I want to change the place of business. So click on change. Now, what you need to look at are the rules behind the principal place of business. So you won't be able to put a PA, P, a PO box on it. And sadly, you're not supposed to put the address of your third party person. So an agent or an accountant. Hmm, it's a bit bad, isn't it? Um, so it will need to be a proper address. OK, so click on continue. What you should then be able to do is enter the postcode and enter the property name or number. I have not taken this any further because it should be self-explanatory after this point. You'll enter the address. You'll accept that is the change of address. And then you should finalize it. And hopefully that will give you your change going through. Any problems, then feel free to contact me and we can see if we can help. That's it. Thanks very much.